Hi, in this video we're going to cover multiplying binomials like this one right over here. We're going to go through a couple different ways of doing it and then go through a few examples. We're going to talk about three ways to multiply binomials. We're going to do it by distribution where we take the x plus 4 and multiply that by the x and then take the x plus 4 and multiply it by the 3. We're going to talk about FOIL, multiplying the first, the outer, the inners, and the last. But then we're going to focus mostly on the box method. The box method ends up being a very good method to use. One, as we get into higher polynomials to multiply, it's going to give us a much better structure. And then when we start to notice patterns, we're going to need to notice patterns when we start doing factoring. So the box method is just going to be a lot easier to notice um, patterns in the multiplication. So let's take a look at how to solve this with each method. So first by the distribution method. So we're not just multiplying a number times the x and a number times 3. We're multiplying everything in parentheses, the x plus 4 times the x and the x plus 4 times the 3. So we end up with x times x plus 4. And we also end up with the 3 times the x plus 4. Now if we do distribution on each of these, we get x times x is x squared. We get the x times the 4 is 4x. Over here we get the 3 times the x is 3x. And then the 3 times the 4 gets us 12. To finish up, we just need to add our like terms, the 4x and the 3x, and get 7x. So we get x squared plus 7x plus 12, and that's the distribution method. So now the next method, FOIL. So FOIL is an acronym that stands for first, outer, inner, last. So the first being the first of each of these terms. So for first, we're going to get x times x, which is x squared. The outer, the outer two, is the x and the 3. So 3 times x, or 3x. The inner, the 4 and the x are the inner ones. So 4 times x, or 4x. And then the last two, the 4 and the 3 are the last two in each one. So 4 times 3 gets us 12. And then we add these all up. Let's add our like terms. And we get x squared plus 7x plus 12, same answer by the FOIL method. Now let's take a look at the final method, method the box method. So here we're going to take the first term, the x plus 4, and put it along the top. So the x and the plus 4. Then we're going to take the second term and put it along the side, so the x and the plus 3. Now we've got to fill in each box. So to fill in each box, so to fill in this box, we look at what's on top and what's on the right of it. So we need to multiply the x times the x to fill in this box. To fill in this box, we have to multiply the 4 times the x. Down here, we've got to multiply the x times the 3. And for the final box, we've got to multiply the 4 times the 3 and get 12. And now here, when we're combining like terms, our like terms are going to end up right here on the diagonals. So x squared is by itself. The 4 and the 3 combined get a 7x. And then the 12 is also by itself. And by the box method, we get the same answer, x squared plus 7x plus 12. And so why is the box method my favorite method? It's because as we get um, to multiplying trinomials by binomials or trinomials by trinomials, It'll be much easier to use this because then we won't lose track of what we're multiplying. And then also as we get bigger ones, it's going to be hard to figure out where the like terms are. But if they always show up in the diagonals, that's going to help us out as well. And then the last reason I like the box method is for when we get to factoring. So when we get to factoring, we're going to want to notice patterns in multiplication. So to have it in this rather than just a list of items, it helps us recognize those patterns a little easier. So we're going to use this going forward. Let's do some with the box method now. 
So let's go ahead and solve these five problems multiplying binomials using the box method. So let's take a look at the first one. So now the first one, we'll notice that a sign changed. We've got a minus 4 now. So just make sure that minus stays with your 4. Put the sign with the number to the right, x and plus 6. And then when you multiply, just make sure we're careful of our signs. So x and x is going to get us x squared. The negative 4 times x gets us minus 4x. The x times the plus 6 gets us positive 6x. And then negative 4 times the plus 6 gets us negative 24. Combine our like terms, and we get x squared plus 2x minus 24. Now this one looks a little different, but x plus 5 squared is the same as x plus 5 times x plus 5. So we just put an x plus 5 along the top and an x plus 5 along the side. And now we do the same thing. x times x is x squared. 5 times x is going to be 5x. x times 5 is also 5x. And 5 times 5 is 25. Combine our like terms and get x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now I want you to know, notice a pattern here on a perfect square. This is called a perfect square when we have a binomial being squared. So notice we've got x plus 5 squared. So the pattern we have here is the last term is going to be this 5 times itself. So 5 times 5 gets us 25. And the middle term is going to be added to itself, or 2 times 5. So 2 times 5 gets us 10. So that pattern is going to become important, especially when you go to start to do factoring. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. So here we got x plus 7 and x minus 7. So notice we're multiplying the same things, but it's not a perfect square because we've got 1 is plus and 1 is minus. All right, so let's do it. x plus 7, x minus 7. So here we get x squared. 7 and x gets us 7x. x times negative 7 gets us negative 7x. And 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. Now, when we go to combine the like terms here, 7x and minus 7x is 0. So we actually end up with no middle term. And again, this is an important pattern to notice when we've got two terms, one with a plus and one with a minus, but the same exact numbers and the same exact variables, the middle term is going to cancel out. And if you recognize these patterns, then you can skip the box method and go right to the answer. That's why we're looking at it this way. Okay. So let's take a look at the next one. Now the next one, we don't have just x and x. We have a number before the x now. But we can do the same thing. We can just put our 3x here, our 7 here, our 5x, and our minus 2. So now it just gets a little more complicated when we're multiplying. Multiply 3x times 5x, and we get 15x squared. 7 times 5x gets us 35 x. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. And 7 times negative 2 gets us negative 14. Combine our like terms that are on a diagonal, and that'll get us 15x squared. 35 minus 6 gets us 29x, and the 14 is by itself, minus 14. So even if we have numbers before the x's, we can do the same method. We just have to remember when we multiply something like 3x and 5x that the x's become x squared, but the 3 and the 5 just multiply and get us 15. Now on this last problem, we have, sometimes we have 
x's and y's, right? So we've got an x and a y and an x and a y. Well, we can still use the same method. We just have to make sure we're careful when we multiply. So let's see how this one would work out. So 2x times 5x, the 2 times the 5 is 10, and the x times the x is x squared. Now the 3y times 5x, the 3 times the 5 is 15, and the y and the x are different variables, so we can just, just leave them, y and x. Here we got 2x and 2y, so the 2 times 2 is 4. But again, we just add, we just put the x and the y multiplied because they're not like terms. And the last term, 3y times 2y, 3 times 2 is 6, and the y times the y is y squared. Now when we look, go to look at our like terms, they don't look exactly the same. We've got a yx and an xy. But multiplication, we can do either way. So x times y means the same as y times x. So we can actually combine these because yx and xy are the same. So we get 10x squared plus 19xy plus 6y squared as our final answer on this one. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments on this video or suggestions for future videos, just comment below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you can do so right over here. And I've got another suggestion for you to watch right here. Thank you and come back again soon.